Recognizing groups. How many groups? We'll write our answer down here. One group of flowers. Two groups of flowers. Three groups of flowers. Four groups of flowers. We've got four groups. How many rows? We'll write our answer down here. One row of fire engines. Two rows of fire engines. We've got two rows. How many rows? Let's write our answer down here. We've got one row of blocks. Two rows of blocks. Three rows of blocks. Four rows of blocks. Five rows of blocks. We've got five rows. Now this question is, what do we have? Got some strawberries certainly. Some more strawberries there. Some more strawberries again. We've got three groups. But we're going to add a little bit more information. How many in each group? There's two strawberries. So we've got three groups of two. There's two in each group. What do we have? Got some pencils there. One row. Another row of pencils. So certainly we've got two rows. But I wonder how many in each row. Let's just count the top row. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six pencils in each row. So we've got two rows of six. There were six in each row. Now in this one we need to match the sentence with the picture. So we've got a picture there of a bananas. One row of three, two groups of five, or three rows of four. Hmm, I wonder which is the right sentence. Well certainly we've got one, two. We've got two groups. How many in each group? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. We've got two groups of five. Now this next one, hmm, that's all we've got. Do we have one row of three? Or do we have two groups of five? Or do we have three rows of four? What do you think we've got there? Well, simply, we have one row of three. Because there's three in the row. Mmm, lots of oranges here. Do we have two rows of four? Or five groups of three? Or three rows of four? I wonder what we've got. Well, let's see. That's one row. That's two rows. And that's three rows. How many in each row? One, two, three, four. Four in each row. So we've got three rows of four.